Hello everyone, this is Hemin and welcome to another new video. Today it is on Thursday 9.42 a.m. I made an appointment for a haircut at 10 a.m. My hair is really really long. My last haircut was like last year in January. It is still on February, but I decided to work on a new theme project of March for my Patreon page. Last time when I started the theme project for February, I started it 3 days before the month began. I didn't know when it would be the best time to start a new project because it was my first experience doing a Patreon project with my patrons. So I ended up making myself really really busy. I felt really really exhausted after the week. So this time I actually started the March project 9 days earlier before the month comes so that I don't have to feel like I have to do everything at the same time. The theme that I'm currently working is riding on a swan boat at a lake park surrounded by tree blossoms. In my childhood city, there was a big lake park nearby my old home. I think it was like 1 hour 30 minutes away from my home. And I used to go there a lot with my family and my friends while I was living there for about 8 years. My favorite time to visit was absolutely during spring because a tons of cherry blossom trees were planted around the lake pathway and driving away. So when everything was bloomed, I really just enjoyed walking along and watching the petals falling. I'm not sure if we call this or if you have ever called this petal rain. But anyway, it is my favorite thing to do during the tree blossom season. My last time that I spent in the city was like 15 years ago though. My memory still feels very fresh. During this season, it was actually very festive. There were some people who were riding on bicycles or swan boats or enjoying picnic, walking, and also there were a few stores that were selling street food. I feel really grateful that I had these beautiful experiences when I was little and also I'm so glad that I have another opportunity to draw that theme to express my nostalgic thing. The photos that I'm currently using for references are not the same area that I grew up when I was little. But I usually use a lot of related photos and feel the similar energy to develop my individual inspiration.
currently designing wallpapers for our tulip here and this is the first one I'm really happy about how magically it is turning out in relation to the sky, I added a little bit of pink on the green sky initially it was blue sky and then I thought blue sky looked too classic so I decided to add some pink energy from the cherry blossoms I really liked it but I was really curious of how it would look like with other colors so my second decision was adding some orange color like this and then I thought it looked really really dreamy like the sunset time but I still wanted to see with different colors so I copied this layer uh, that is currently showing and then I kept adjusting hue until I could find the color that I liked in the end the color turned out this kind of a light green I think I prefer this color slightly more the orange and pink gradation looks really really pretty though I think I'll think about it again later this is the initial sketch of the second wallpaper so I pictured exploring around the lake park with the swan boat this is the initial sketch of the second wallpaper so I pictured exploring around the lake park with those swan boats I haven't added any characters yet except for this mommy swan and the baby swans I hope to finish this initial sketch before lunch Good morning everyone, it is on Monday and I just finished the drawing um, the line art for the second wallpaper Now the art looks much cleaner than last time when I showed you guys it I actually changed a few things when I drew the line art Okay, so we should see this initial sketch again to see what I changed Their necks looked a little bit shorter than the image I referenced online I thought the neck of the swan looked too straight so it looked a little bit like a goose so I decided to make it slightly wavy so today I'm going to add a little bit of color on this art and I'm hoping to finish the two wallpapers until Thursday while drawing I'm also going to continue the anime that I started Rewatching from yesterday on 
Netflix. The name is Kimi Nito, okay? And I really enjoyed this anime in my childhood. And also, I finished this in manga version when I was like 19 or 20. I used to be very obsessed with a puppy in the anime. His name is Maru. The season in this anime starts from summer, but I always think it is good to start watching during spring because the actual story of the two main characters, the when they met each other for the first time, it was during the cherry blossom season. I like re-watching this anime whenever I feel like a spring, so that's what I'm going to do now. Tuesday. Today I'm going to be trying to think of some ideas and try to develop them in my sketchbook for making a procreate tutorial for our patrons. At the moment it looks like it's going to be an isometric illustration of a cherry blossom theme like park. In this morning I want to plan on how I want to explain the process and design the art. papers. Those are the final results. Last night, I checked out my old hometown in my childhood on the Google map. And I was exploring a lake park where I used to go a lot with my family and with my friends. I felt very nostalgic, so they actually made me feel like I want to travel there somewhere in the future in April because April in Korea it is a tree blossom season, it is the most popular season during spring. It's not gonna happen until we book flight tickets and also it will depend on our situation at the time. I really really like how this cherry blossom themed art turned out. I already set them up as a wallpapers for my desktop. As I mentioned earlier, these illustrations are new downloadable art for the truly tier on our Patreon page. Still, the illustrations that I created for the previous months are downloadable. Also, you'll get to see more video content and the sketchbook spreads that I haven't shared on social media. There's not an expiration date to get any of those arts that I created except for a monthly art mail. So if you are interested, please check out the link in the down description box. Lastly, I really wanted to say that thank you so much for supporting my art over on Patreon. For the work, extremely appreciate you guys watching my YouTube videos and sharing my art over on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and sending a lovely kind of words on my art. I'm thinking of ending this video here and I hope this vlog is long enough. It is currently 1 p.m. so I'm gonna go to grab some food for lunch and then I'll be back and start making a procreate tutorial for our patrons. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys liked my new hairstyle and my drawing in this vlog. Take care, have a lovely day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye!
Thank you.